The flood waters are rising. God has given you favour and you are in the ark while the storm has come. Don't lose hope now, for although it is raining outside, you are in the dwelling place of the Lord, the ark. The time has come for you to send out the raven. You may feel lost in the middle of the ocean, but the time is coming for the waters to decrease, and they must decrease for you to increase. There is a hope outside of the ark, a beautiful hope. After the flood, God set the rainbow in the clouds, symbolizing promises. God has made promises to many of you, and he is reinstating those promises he has made to you. Much like how he renewed the covenant with the human race, firstly with Adam and Eve, and then with Noah and his family. God is renewing his promises to you. On the other side of the flood are promises fulfilled and promises renewed. The life outside of the ark is a life you didn't expect. Just like Noah and his sons didn't know what the other side of the ark looked like, so the other side of the ark is going to be unexpected and surprising for some of you. Picture the other side of the storm. It is going to be fluorescent, vividly colourful, just like the rainbow after the storm in Noah's day. The storm is what's going to bring out the best for you. It is the rain that waters the soil, that that waters the plants. Springtime is coming, where the fruit of your labour springs forth. The pain you are having right now is the birthing pain that is going to bring forth the fruit of your labour. There is hope for after the storm. Stay in the dwelling place of the Lord and he will make your way prosper. There is hope after the desert, after the wilderness. Keep waiting on the Lord by prayer and supplication, and he will lead you in the path of life. 